Earlier today, I gave you this patient and asked you if we should be giving nitroglycerin in this patient. Well, let's talk about it. So the physiology is quite interesting when it comes to any type of heart failure, particularly the left ventricle here. So what happens in this particular case is this left ventricle is not able to move blood. It's not able to pump blood to the aorta to pump to the rest of the body. So that creates a backup problem. And so that means that fluid is not able to move from the alveoli over here through to this to the left ventricle. That's the main issue. And so we have a medication that we can use in order to hopefully improve this pressure problem because what happens when we have this pressure problem is that we're left with pulmonary edema and we have fluid buildup inside the alveoli giving us a pulmonary edema, the crackles in our patients that have this left ventricular failure. So how does nitroglycerin help this problem? Well, nitroglycerin effectively is a venal dilator and what venal dilation means is that it's going to dilate things like the superior and inferior vena cavas, cavas and the vessels themselves. And so what that means is that it's going to cause a decrease in flow, okay? Because if we have a wider vessel, it means that we can get less blood back to this heart. So that means that we have less flow per contraction that's going to move through the right ventricle, which means that ultimately is going to decrease the amount of flow towards the alveoli through the pulmonary veins here. So less flow like so. Now, when that occurs, that means that we're going to have less of a problem, okay, because we're having blood still moving this way, but we're not having nearly as much of a traffic jam at this particular point, which causes our pulmonary edema. So when we use nitroglycerin and cause this dilation and reduce the amount of flow through that right ventricle, it's actually taking pressure off this problem, thus reducing some of that pulmonary edema that we're feeling. And so that is essentially what nitroglycerin is supposed to do. And this is ultimately going to cause, again, a reduction of pulmonary flow. Now, is it a fantastic medication in this case not amazing like it will help but there are other things like CPAP that can help improve this problem even further and that was something we'll cover in a later video